Scorpio! What is going on, my dears? It is me, Ver. It is she, Ver. It is V, Ver. It is Scorpio Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August 2021. We are here to have fun. The party has just begun. Listen, I know that I am late, but I'm always coming in great. I got an extra special treat for all of you guys because I waited to the tail end of August to give you your August reading. So, um, when we get to the love portion of the readings today, we shall be using the Rebel deck, okay? I am going to use the Rebels couple decks and the Rebels single deck, and we are going to do a couple's versus singles reading okay so this is going to be fun i'm excited so let's get into this if there's anybody that's first i want to give a shout out to all my ogs my newbies and all and every last one of my babies for liking sharing subscribing and click this video if these videos resonate if you had some fun and you just got some guidance just you know click the like button so you know people can find out about me if you would like to book a personal and private reading the only thing you got to do is send me a message on instagram um, click the description box of this video or click the about tab on my uh, YouTube page and it gives you all of the pricing, the various links to support, to, um, you know, chitty chat with me. If you do not have Instagram Messenger, just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I will get you all on the schedule, okay? So, you know, before we go into any type of readings, we always give Father God, the Creator, the Universe, but however He resonates in your life. We give him praise and thanks and acknowledgement. So if you wouldn't mind bowing your head with me, let's say a quick prayer. Father God, thank you so much for coming through in our life. Thank you so much for renewing us. Thank you so much for allowing us to receive all of these valued blessings in our life, Father God. We thank you for allowing us to shed old skins and just be reborn, Father God. We are in constant transformation. We understand uh, the potential that we have and what we're creating we planted many many fruitful beneficial seeds throughout this season where um we have faith in it you know we're not going to stand over top of our uh crops and watch every second we just going to come do what we got to do manage our upkeep anything that god gives you you got to make sure you know that you Manage the upkeep of that blessing so that you don't never misplace it, devalue it, or, you know, not use it appropriately. You got to always maintain and manage your blessings at all times. That's how you preserve and keep them sturdy and stable and strong. So, Father God, we just thank you so much for just allowing us to just... Um, develop self-mastery in this time in our life, Father God. Uh, please give us the guidance that we need we thank you for the daily bread that we've received uh give us the guidance that we need for the sign of scorpio for august 2021 we thank you again for who we are where we stand and where we're going we thank you for the knowing in jesus name amen amen and amen all right all right so let's get into this scorpio let's see what we got so i had recorded i had tried to record earlier and I scrapped the video. And the cards that came out was about perspective and fate and luck. And the main message that I was I, I was asking is um do you trust luck or are you a person of fate? You know. And I brought up that song franchise by um Travis Scott and Young Thug. And Young Thug said, I just ran up 25000 to the devil to keep the luck. <laughs> Talk to me nicely. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm blessed. I, 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 I rely on faith. Everything that we are supposed to receive is already written. To the devil to keep the luck. We don't need that temporary satisfaction, that quick. We don't need that. We got long blessings coming to us, you know. I'm a person of faith. So the devil to keep the luck. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, this just gave me chills, Scorpio. You know how you just sit back and you just rest in your blessings? 
to me that looks like the wheel of fortune that looks like the circle that's on the world card you guys have definitely been I want to say making big big boy step of moves <laughs> in your strides like to evolve like you your evolution period right now is like at a major regeneration phase. Do you understand? I feel like you're resting in your blessings. As you are resting in your blessings, honey, that wheel of fortune is turning and turning and turning. And like we said, tell the devil to keep the luck because, baby, this was written. God seen every little bit of every sacrifice that we made in this point of shedding these skins and going through this growth, going through this change do people understand how hard change is like that's why when your body tell you to rest that's when you go through that growth period because you put that work in again i'm gonna tell i'm gonna say it again tell the devil to keep the luck baby all right talk to me nicely guys with the strap and then like me i don't even know what the hell he said but i liked it i love that song though so let me see what exactly what this means because i don't know this card means healing, caring, and friendships. It says the power of love to change bodies is legendary. Builds into lore, uh, folklore, common sense, and everyday experience. Love moves the flesh. It pushes matter around. Throughout history, sense of love has uniformity. And has been recognized as a valuable element in healing. If healing is made one to behold and love is a path to healing, then healing energy of a loving friendship is a sacred act. This card is an indication to either give or receive the healing energy of love. A woman appears to rest or sleep in a circle of healing light. If we could see reiki energy through um as though it was radiant light it will perhaps look like this the flawless circle suggests perfection and completeness hands reach out to send help and healing energy they suggest that one of the main reasons we are here is to love and heal one another a simple touch of a caring gesture from a friend can mean so much. I know that's right. Now come on now. All right, come on. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place. And if you can, let me start. <laughs> okay. Reloaded, y'all. Come on now. You better go ahead and have spirit all over you turning that wheel of fortune in your favor like a lifesaver. Hello, come on, Scorpio. Y'all better do it. Do it and do it and do it like you can. I I I okay, I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, y'all got me turned. <laughs> y'all got me geeked up. Come on, spirit. I love this. Come on, you better go ahead and heal and rest and just let you <laughs> wake, up, wake up to success. Wake up. <laughs> Hello. Come on, Father God. Give me guidance for Scorpio in the name of Jesus. Come on now. Come on. A whole new world. A brand new place I never knew. Come on. Y'all better come on. Like you better know that it's better. It is better. It is way more wetter on the other side of this river. Okay, girl. You said, oh, I'm about to leave everything behind. I feel like it's something else out here in the destiny, in, in, in the universe for me. Let for out thou look outside. Let me see which destination I shall partake in during this season. Are you guys ready to move? Are you guys ready to groove, honey? I feel movements in your future. Shalala, hello. Girl, you better take the world into your hands, Miss Pam. Okay? I like this. And I just seen that depth side. Oh, I just. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Do we got a tent of cubs? Can we take that? Jesus, can we take that? Because I just picked it up and I said, whoop. Mm. <laughs> Scorpio, I think, I think we deserve this. Can we deserve this? I think we could put this here. We sure can. Can we just wake up healed and just feeling like, you know what? It's time for me to take part in a different journey in my life. I feel like <laughs> it's going to be a lot of blessed happiness and a lot of good food, children, and just <laughs> love and abundance. And, and, you know, all the blessings, all of the cups, all of the checks are going to be marked, honey. We are going to be good in this season. I'm relaxing. I'm resting. I'm letting God move things in my favor. And I'm waking up <laughs> and I'm claiming I am claiming my destiny. I like this. I really, Scorpio, I think we deserve to have it. We shall. And we will. We shall. Look. A whole new world. A brand new place. Look at it. I never knew. A bitch like no, no matter where. Okay, I don't know the rest of the song, y'all. Let me shut the fuck up, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Listen. I like it. Look, in the seven of... <laughs> You was you respecting yourself? Was you doing your work? You was paying attention to your yard. You was cleaning up. You was tidying up your house. Look, God love cleanliness. This is a very, listen, tidy on time. You're very punctual. You're very functional, okay? You very gumptual. You a gumptual word, girl. You got gumption. You got gumption. Okay, you got some gumption. Okay, you will jump out there and do what you got to do for the sake of humanity. You're a giver, okay? All right, bitch, we are reloaded. Can we just, can I have that too? Yes, you are being blessed for success and you just waiting and you just anticipating your blessings because look, you know what, you know what you've been doing. You know the work that you've been putting in. Didn't I tell you you was working hard out in your garden, taking care of your fruits? Listen, you learned a lot during this season. You learned how to take care of yourself better. You learned how to make things grow. You know what you're doing. Okay, when God said, let yourself rest, Jesus, I will rest. I will rest, Jesus. Go ahead and, and help me grow. Okay, help me show. <laughs> help me glow. Do you see that? Are y'all glowing? Is look, do people tell y'all, what you got? Wait, what is you pregnant or something? No, bitch, I'm just blessed, honey. Do people be telling you that you glowing? Girl, you glowing. You showing. You going. Listen, you going. You, okay? You better a whole new world. You better stop. Y'all got me singing this morning. Y'all got me singing this season. Y'all better cut it out. Scorpio. Okay, come on, I'm waiting. Look, I know I got a whole bunch of good stuff coming up. Good stuff coming up soon. And you know how sometimes when you plant your blessings and you forget about them a little bit, but you always make sure that you come back and forth and you take care of them. But, you know, I told my cousin this the other day. If you really trust and have faith in your ability and what you know that you could do for yourself. But not only that. But you know what God can do for you. And will do for you. What you worried about. That's how you block blessings. Because people. They plant seeds. But they don't believe in it. They don't believe in it. The seven of pentacles is. You are talented. You are skilled. You honor yourself with your work. You pay attention. And you are patient. You have faith. This person is not standing there. Hovering over their blessings every day. No, they're going to continue to uh, work on self-mastery. They're learning something else. And they come back and check on it. They have everything on a time schedule. They know when, where, and how to take care of their crops. They allow it the room to grow. They allow it to breathe. They allow it to receive the air. To receive the sun. To receive the energy. You know? How can it grow if I'm constantly standing over in this block in the sun? This person does not believe in luck. They believe in faith. Everything that comes to us, it was meant because of the work that we put in. And we ain't worried about when it when it's going to grow to full potential and we can actually pick those fruits and, and enjoy the harvest from our labor we know it's going to come and when it comes it's going to be right and we gonna have the best fruits on the market and i can truly truly get the value because i know how to wait and i know how to take care of my blessings do you understand 
So put some respect on that Seven of Pentacles. Please put some respect on that Seven of Pentacles. Because once you go to that Seven of Pentacles, then you go to the Eight of Pentacles, then that's when you're known for your work. That's when you're known. Self-made. Y'all better get the fuck out of here. I don't got time to be playing with y'all today, Scorpio. We ain't going to church today, Jesus. We ain't doing it. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me guidance for my Scorpio, please, during this season. Come on. I, come on, Father God, unexpected income. Y'all better stop playing with Jesus today. Please stop playing with Jesus. I claim it. Hold on. Doom, 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 doom. Come on, where's some church music? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hello. Hello, Shacoinage. A proper dropper. Hold on. Okay, a proper dropper in my bank account. Hello. What? Come on, Jesus. I claim it, okay? I feel it, okay? Hello? Woo! Jesus, you're doing Jesus, hey? Hello? I am reloading. Give us some more guidance, Father God. Unexpected income in the name of Jesus. Come on, what are we doing here? With the main female, come on. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's for you. Just for me. Girl, it's just for me. Girl, it's just for you. It is for you, boo. What is you trying to do? What is this toil and labor? I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all went through some work. Y'all worked y'all ass off for these blessings. For all of them days that you slave, that you sacrificed for your kids, that you put in all them extra hours, that you was in school, that you was up on YouTube studying some shit, that you was reading them books. Y'all know how the Scorpio is. A Scorpio would do some investigation. We will research. We will put that time in an education. Like, we will go deep and try to learn how to do. We will put that work in. Like, we are a fucking warrior, bitch. For every single damn hour that you put in, do you see how she is pulled up? Do you see how she is dressed? Do you see how she is giving you all of that? Girl, don't play with her at all. She worked hard. She put that energy in. That's where that money come from. That's where all of these blessings is coming from. Like I said, you work for that. Every single day. Every single day. And every dollar counts. Every dollar counts. Because you work for it. Now I'm so serious. Y'all some hard working individuals. I'm about to get one more call for you. And we're going to keep them moving. About this general energy. Come on, Father God. Give me one more call for my Scorpios. Thank you so much. Oh. Did I see something flip up? got message of concern here all right so not quite sure what that is about let's see got the main female toilet labor so I definitely feel at this time there is somebody here there's a female in this situation it's a female Scorpio that You've definitely been putting in a lot of work. And if you haven't received your coins yet, you're definitely going to get this money. You're going to get this money. I just feel like you just don't know when. And again, we already went through this conversation here. You know you know the work that you did. Pay attention to something else. Start creating something else. Plant a new seed. Start nurturing that seed. And I guarantee you, by the time you looked up, those two, three, or four other blessings that you planted before, as long as you keep going back, making sure it got enough water, enough sun, enough of your energy, you know, because I talk to my plants. I talk to my, I, I, I love my plants. I love my animals like they are my babies. Do you understand? So, like, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing on your routine, on your schedule, once them things start growing and them blessings start really coming into fruition, it's just going to be like one hitting you. The next one hitting you. The next one. Like, you going to be so focused on the next thing that you have been creating. The new seed, your new project. You done been and forgot about two or three of the one of them blessings that done hit you. You done forgot that you even planted that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you done learned how to take care of the whole garden. I promise you, watch. It's going to hit you. 
And all of a sudden, you sitting up there concerned about some money and all of this shit. The next thing you know, you get a goddamn piece of paper and it's telling you that you about to get a goddamn wire. It's about to hit your account in two to three business days. And you like, God damn, I was sitting up there worrying and all of this stuff. I'm trying to tell you, you don't have nothing to worry about, y'all. As long as you know what you've been doing. As long as you know what you've been doing. And it, from what I'm looking like, what these cards is telling me, you may be taking a resting season right now. From all of the hard work that you've put in, your body may be healing. The Lord is turning the wheel of fortune in your favor. And I'm trying to tell you, you're going to wake up being able to move a little bit differently. Because when you got that financial security, because this right here is telling me about financial security. And emotional needs being met. This is like basically telling me if you went through a season of toil and labor, that is over like Tens is endings. Do you understand? So you might have gone through an ending of that period. Again, like I said, the two of wands is leaving something behind because you're going into a whole new world, a new phase of your future. This person has a new wand. A new set of skills. A new inspiration. New powers. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? It's the ending of any type of stress, any type of worry, whatever type of concerns that you're worrying about, it will be, you will be receiving the fruits from your labor. And honey, that's a full harvest, not no short change. If the, seven of, if the seven of coins was in the reverse, then you might not be receiving a full paycheck. You may not be getting paid your full worth, no, no. What is this? The justice. I'm trying to tell you. Like, I'm trying to tell you if you guys are supposed to be getting any type of settlement money. Um, and again, like I said, if you're waiting on any type of payments or something, it is coming. Everything is lining up. <laughs> Every Like, I feel like in regards to... This toil and labor, whatever lessons it was that you would have to learn, whatever karmic debts that you had to pay, it's like all has been forgiven. It's like this woman did, she paid her debt to society. You know what I'm saying? It's like she did what she's supposed to do. Um, she's free and clear. You know, she doesn't owe us nothing. She's good. Um, you can give her her things back or something it's like something is being received to you they might have been holding your money to wait for something or or to clear up something or i don't know for whatever it is whatever the hold up was or whatever show of work that had to be done um it, it just turned out in your favor some debt is being forgiven. It could even be like your credit. Your credit could be forgiven. Like everything is balanced. Everything is cool. Like you're able to move differently. Like I said, you're able to move on like free and clear. It's like someone wakes up to a whole new world. Like, I don't know. Like y'all check y'all credit score and see if y'all credit score went up. Cause it's like your work history, your credit history, your payment history, or something, something, something. Give me one card, please. What is this? The fool. So again, remember how I was saying about faith versus luck? It's like as long as the sun is shining... I know I can do whatever I put my mind and my heart to. The fool is about faith. It's about trust in the universe. <laughs> like, honestly, it's like, I'm never going to hit rock bottom. I'm never going to be without. I'm never not going to have the sun shining on me. I'm never going to let nothing take my happiness. I can move free and clear throughout this universe because I have that right to. You know, God told me that. I could do whatever I put my mind to. This is someone that has unwaver unwavering faith. 
unwavering faith. It's like you may have the, the scriptures memorized in your head. Like It's like no one can take your trust in yourself and your belief. Like nobody. Look at zero. Nobody. Nobody. It's like as long as God gives me breath every day to wake up and breathe this free air. Be able to cleanse my body, to cleanse my mind. Have the sun kiss my skin. I'm going to keep moving. This is a card of movement. This is a card of determination. This is a, a card of trust in the future. And trust in the blessings that the future has to hold for them. You know? This is a person that would take risk. Because I believe in my destiny. I believe no matter where I stand today, I know I have a brighter tomorrow because it's already written. And it's what I believe in. It's what I stand on. And I'm going to keep moving on that. Because that's what keeps me sane. That's what keeps me whole. That's what keeps me waking up every day smiling. Knowing I'm blessed and highly favored. I know what my future is. You know. I might not know how it's going to happen. But I have faith. And God just told me to keep it moving. Like that's what I'm getting. Because it's like look at him. It's like you're very healthy. It's something about your confidence. It's like no matter of the fears and the limitations of what people say you can't do. You can't tell me I can't do shit because God told me I'm going to make this shit. That shit don't scare me. It's something like y'all not scared. It's like do you know the other shit that I've battled? The other shit that I've conquered? The other shit that I've faked? You think that a fucking lion and a crocodile scare me? Bitch, I'm going to go jump in that water. The lion going to follow me and y'all going to end up being my friend. Y'all going to end up being my homies. Fuck around. You understand what I'm saying? I, I got You don't understand how God got me set up. Y'all gonna fuck around and be my friends. Y'all go ahead and stop tripping. And get down with me. Yeah, 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 like, I, I'm trying to tell you, man. This motherfucker they ain't scared of shit. Do you see this right here? This person has a very, very healthy mindset and belief and faith. And, like, you can't. No. No. You cannot touch God's anointing. You cannot. You cannot, honey. And honestly, they like, where are you going? <laughs> you gonna fuck around and follow me. Because you know I know where the shit is at. Come on, it's in the hearts and the goddamn joker. Come on. That's that other faith card. That's that other fool card. That's the other fool card. Now, I don't know what this one... Yeah, this is about transformation. It says transformation through painful experience, experiences. Willfully blinded. But see, this one is like, they're trying to say like the negative and, and, and stuff like that. I'm not taking this as negative at all because you got to understand for Scorpios, we go through some of the harshest realities that other people cannot deal with. We go through things that people would crumble and probably end up in the same asylums. That is what gives us wings. Do you understand what I'm saying? That is really what makes us transform. That's what makes us a fucking phoenix. And we don't never lose. We always win. We always win. Always fucking win. You see that ten of hearts? Always win. I might be down for a quick minute, but baby, when I get up, y'all better watch out, honey. I'm coming up swinging, and I'm claiming everything that I think that should have my name on it. Y'all don't play. That's why I'm trying to tell you it's something about believing in yourself, believing in your work. It's like, do you know how hard I work? Do you know how much I've sacrificed to be able to wake up and move like this? I'm trying to tell you, like, you're going to wake up, Scorpio, and you're going to be able to move fucking different. I don't know if your credit score fucking goes up. I don't know what happened if you just wake up again with that spark of inspiration, just saying, I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to transform again. I Like... Like, I don't know if you're free from the justice system. I don't know. Again, it's like some some karmic debt. Something has been clean, has been released, has been freed. You know what I'm saying? And you have the ability to move. This is a card of movement. Again, all of these tens, like these are endings for wonderful new beginnings. 
This is the Ten of Hearts again. This is the Ten of Cups again. It says a new phase, positive changes, taking back control, joy after sorrow, overcoming all odds, love and happiness, romance is in the air. Hello. Hey. I'm with it. It says, restoring unity. Love takes center stage. Seeing eye to eye. Restoring peace and harmony in the home. Engagements. Weddings. Reunions. It says, ex re reunited. But we not we, we ain't we ain't reuniting with no exes. We, we, we moving on. These are tens. We, we's moving. We're moving past exes. It says, entertainment. Parties and pleasure. Harmony. And um, in the workplace, universal protection, living in the moment, don't take things personally, showing compassion and generosity, gratitude. Y'all, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you. But still, even this car, okay, it does says, um, it says mysteries revealed, uncovering lies, synchronicities, premonitions, believing in the unseen and the unknown, doing what feels right, a new path, resourcefulness, you're divinely guided. So again, that does have a lot to do with, you know, the full card, but I just, you know, listen. That, that shit wasn't resonating. The darker aspect of this wasn't necessarily resonating with what I was getting. However, I do feel like it's what you guys could have be could be resting from right now. The work that had been done. But again, we're being freed and released from these karmic debts. These are tense, these are endings. This is a new a newness of life. And again, we're waiting to receive. The full harvest of all of the work that we have come in. And it's like you're patiently waiting and you're graciously waiting. And God see you waiting, baby. And trust me, don't worry about it. Like I told you, when it's something that you know the work that you put in. And you know that you are blessed and highly favored and pleasantly goddamn paid, baby. You know, you know them checks is coming. And they, listen, when they come from up here, oh baby, they clear like that. Honey, you'll wake up. You'll wake up. And being able to move different, I promise you. Let's get into the love aspect of this reading. Let's start with the couples this time. Let's start with the couples. Give me guidance for my couples. My Scorpios in relationships. Give me guidance for my couples. And again, um, if... I was to read this in regards to a love situation. It seems like there's some type of repair. Um, whatever had been going on in y'all relationship, it seems like y'all are being willing to let bygones be bygones and leave it that past shit alone and move forward in your future. Um, I don't see that uh, there's a breakup. I see a resurgency. After some concern, um, there could have been some concerns around some financial things like that. But again, um, I feel like someone is going to take a risk and do something that is going. It's like someone's going to do something relying on their faith that is going to bring some unexpected income, which is going to release these concerns. Again, I feel like there is because of faith, because of the hard work. Something is being cleansed and repaired. And again, y'all have been waiting for this transformation, this resurgency to come in this relationship. And I definitely feel like there's something that is being changed. I feel like you guys are more balanced with that justice card. I feel like there's a lot of hope and forgiveness and belief in the structure of y'all relationship. Like you guys keep each other balanced, you know. So it's like when one when one is falls off, it, it knocks the other one off. It says, then wash and fold the clothes. <laughs> it says, then wash and fold and put away the clothes. Do you really love them? Ooh. Oh. 
So it's saying like. If you really love them, it says, then wash, fold, and put away the clothes. Taking care of the house, making sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. All right, let's see. But not do you really love them. Okay, y'all being shady, McGrady. Give me guidance for my Scorpio couple. Okay, what does it say? Resentment kills the magic. It says fucking say it. I feel like there's um, an issue with someone feeling like there's a problem with the upkeep of the house. Um, there could be a problem with someone's cleanliness. Someone's ability and willingness to help the other with the cleanliness. Um, there could be, and I, I listen. Sometimes I can be um, guilty of washing, especially if you live in a house. You wash all of these clothes, like having to sit down and fold all of these clothes, and you just be like, ah. Then you got everything sorted out, and they just, you know, you just go in the. No, you put the stuff away. Like that may be an annoyance to your partner. You know, if there's something that they complain about, make sure that you're taking care of it. Make sure that you guys are listening to each other because you don't want to develop some resentment over something as stupid as that. It says you're hot, smart, and got a great ass. <laughs> It says, your person is lucky. Remind them. You're hot, smart, and got a great ass. <laughs> your person is lucky. Remind them. Turn up the heat, baby. Turn up the heat. Do you understand? Like, put that little sexy dress on. Do something. Come on. Make the booty stick out. Make the booty stick out. Make the boop, 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 booty stick out. Make the booty stick out, girl. Come on now. Yeah, one more. Let's see what it says. Trust, share your crazy ass dreams, wishes, and passions. Bear your fucking soul. I like this. See, the couples, y'all, y'all, look, y'all. I feel like now. Us Scorpios, now you know we can be on our petty McBetty shit. You know that we can. We can get mad because our baby be coming in the house, be leaving their shoes in the middle of the floor. They don't help us wash the dishes to clean up and stuff. And you just let petty stuff like that create some type of resentment in your heart towards your partner and things like that. Like, if you really love your partner, help them wash and fold the clothes and you know what I'm saying help them you know what I'm saying y'all help each other y'all do it together like turn on the show get 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 some wine or some beer get y'all some yak or something and you know like sit down and and chill and y'all do it together like you spend it at some bonding time or something like that you know what I'm saying don't create resentment over petty trivial stuff especially like house chores and stuff like that you know um and y'all can use this time to again like i said to bury your soul trust and share your crazy ass dreams and wishes and passions with your partner you know your person is lucky remind them you're smart you're sexy you know you're mysterious. There's still certain things about you that you're still withholding from them. There's still certain things that you dream about doing that this person doesn't know about you. Open up and put aside your stupid stuff about stupid resentments. It's, it's, it's unnecessary. Y'all work with each other and continue to be amazing with each other. That's what I'm getting. Give me guidance for my couples. Oh. That's a lot. Yeah, y'all really tripping. I'm so sorry. Mm -mm. You really tried it. Scorpio, I love you. But no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Give me. What? what the, really? Really? Why? Scorpio, what is you doing? 
one card, two, compatibility. There's strong compatibility here. I think whatever the little resentments of that's going on in this relationship is petty and it's trivial and it's stupid. And you know it is. Like, y'all just work with each other. And if y'all would just spend more time and talk with each other, like, you guys will find something completely different to fall back in love with each other about. It's somebody that is holding back uh, a wish, a dream that they had. Um, it's something that you could open up and share with your partner and you never know like y'all might be on the same page or they can't help you with it or maybe your biggest fan and helping you pull this dream together so like open up and speak to each other and wash the dishes with each other fold clothes with each other help each other out you know like it's a team effort one more card one more card thank you dating yes continue dating each other continue dating each other like show up to work, bring your if you can like send send um uh uh your baby lunch. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe you can't um maybe you can't actually physically meet each other for lunch to have a lunch date because y'all work in two different locations. But shit, uh, Uber eats each other uh the same meal and then y'all can sit on Facetime and have lunch with each other. Uh, you know, at the same time, that's y'all got like a virtual date or something like do some cute shit with each other. You know, y'all go get a hotel at the casino and then y'all just go out and just like continue to date each other and to romance each other and to talk like the way that y'all did when y'all first met each other. You know, it's something here that I feel is untapped energy. It's an untapped conversation. It's something that. Y'all have never had or that y'all have never discovered about each other before that could open up the door to a secondary level of romance within your life. Um, and I think that you guys should explore it and you guys should start taking each other out more, buying each other gifts. You see this man is free of conversation and free of giving roses and little things that he knows that this person loves or that she knows that he loves again this is a new phase in this love relationship this could be going to a point of like marriage engagement this is going to a higher level you know especially um if you guys have been going through a healing phase you've been waiting for things to change it's definitely there's like an end to one chapter in this relationship is going somewhere different. Let me go to this before I go to Tarot to come out of love. Give me guidance for my couple, please. Give me guidance for my couples, my Scorpios. All of this. Give me guidance for my Scorpio couples. August. This is saying separation and worth waiting for. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So, hmm. Are you guys? Hmm. So now that I'm looking at this here, you got the, what's it say, the main lady here? The main female here. There could be a situation here, Scorpio, where this woman put in a lot of work, a lot of work to see that this, I'm seeing a whole bunch of ten of, a ten of cups and a ten of hearts. This could definitely be a marriage or a relationship that um, y'all have been with each other for a number of years. With this justice card here. I feel like 
regardless of what have happened in the past, like you guys really do balance each other and you give each other more peace than anything. Um, I do see that there was someone that was considering and thinking about moving on with their life, um, a whole new world. But again, this can also be with you starting a new phase with each other with the Ten of Hearts and the um, Ten of Cups. And again, with the Fool, it's like moving forward with some level of blind faith because you know the work that you put in. But there's still some level of concern, but it's something that unexpectedly happens that helps to fulfill this legacy. You guys right now, excuse me, y'all could have fallen apart over something as simple as washing the clothes or I want to say even something like really, really petty. And then I still feel like there's something that you could open up to each other about where you guys could learn to love each other again. So if you guys are in a separation period, um, there's some level here about either there's love on the way, if you were just like not even considering, because this can very so be read like you forgive whatever from the past like you're moving on you're leaving this behind you know you still believe in love you're going into a new phase of life and you know that marriage is coming to you or something like that you know what i'm saying you may be looking for someone that is more compatible you're open to get to dating and things like that and you could be going through a separation right now because you feel like true love is worth waiting for um I'm about to go over here to see what the heck is really going on. But if you are in separation right now, I don't feel like there's anybody else that you're, you're finding this compatibility with. Whoever your partner is, there's something that's being forgiven. There's, there is some level of balance here. And again, the Seven of Pentacles can mean, I mean, it definitely does mean that someone is being patient about something. They know that their harvest is coming in. Give me guidance. Clarify this for me. It has something to do with petty resentments. It says the Knight of Wands in the reverse. The Seven of Swords. And then the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. 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 So, this is basically telling me, it's like you guys still believe in love, but maybe not this situation. There's something about someone not being committed. Um, even like Someone not putting forth the effort, not showing up. You feel like this person is off doing other things, have other ambitions. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like this is like a, a part time situation with the seven. Like the se the seven of swords, the way I'm taking it is like you're focused on something else. It's like you're not fully committed. It's like you could be like, this is someone that keeps saying, especially with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So, this is like someone that isn't showing up to the job, isn't putting the work in, could be lying and saying, oh, yeah, I'm coming. But it's like, you're not putting no effort. You're not trying to build any. It's like just lies. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the Seven of Swords is a swindler. Someone that think that they can try to manipulate someone mentally to end up doing all of the work their self you know what I'm saying and like they could take the credit for it or something like that but it's like they're not showing up they're not it's like they basically quit but not telling you that they quit do you understand what I'm saying so um it's like someone playing mind games with someone but you have to look at the physical effort that they're putting in and that's why I feel like it's like you could be 
I want to say all could be forgiven. Like on the justice, when it comes to the justice thing here, if there was a situation where um, you felt like you were putting in all of the work, you, you clearly felt like it was someone lying to you, you could have very much so just like um, called it quits because you still believe in love. It's like I'm not allowing anything to. Does it say autumn? The autumn. So you guys might find love in the fall, in the autumn time. Y'all pay attention to that Scorpio. Because it definitely looks like you're going into a new phase of life in this year. And, and again, it has something to do. Something that transformation through painful experiences. So it's something that was a letdown. And you decided to move on. Again, this card says healing. But just like you, you're going to wake up. You know what seeds that you planted. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know what seeds that you planted. You know what work that you put in. Even though that you have some concern, you're still moving in faith. It's like I've, I've been attacked by bigger things. I've been hurt worse than that. Like this shit don't scare me. I'm still moving on. Like I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So, And it's, it's still blessings come to you. It's like everything comes to you. I want to say something about going into a new phase into your life because now that all the rest of this is coming out it definitely seems like you guys may have been going through a breakup if you are not going through a breakup what i want to tell you is is please forgive each other and don't be having resentment over stupid ass shit do you understand resentment resentment kills the magic it says, do you really love them? Then wash and fold and put away the clothes. If it's something that you need to say, just fucking say it. Just say it. Don't hold it in and then you're building resentment against some dumb shit. And then you end up, you know, it's like fucking up a good thing when you could just come out and just say what it is. Your person is lucky. Remind them. Your person is lucky. Remind them. Trust, share your crazy ass dreams and wishes and passions with this person, okay? It says you're hot, you're smart, and you got great ass. Bear your fucking soul in this relationship. There are people here that what they're going through is really not that major. It just needs to be some forgiveness. Y'all need to like really talk to each other and really understand where each other is coming from. I feel like y'all could put y'all could get past whatever the fuck this is and y'all could just be breaking into a new phase if y'all are just willing to leave the old shit behind. Do you feel what I'm saying? But if you can't, then someone is going to be left behind. That's I'm, I can tell you that much. Because it's something about these cards here where it's like someone is not showing up they're saying that they'll do something but it's all talk is it's game is manipulation there's no proof of it with the ace of pentacles like you're not learning anything you you're not even showing up with the knight of wands in the reverse like when's the last time that you even did whatever the fuck this is that you you, you see what i'm saying so to some level it's like i feel like this is a warning for the people that are trying to still hold on to the relationship and may have resentment about petty, dumbass shit. You guys are still compatible. Continue to date each other. Continue to work on the things that you need to work on. Don't give up on it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just walking away and having to start something new with someone else. Like, there's a, like motherfuckers could be cheating. You know what I'm saying? I'm not necessarily getting cheating from these cards you know what i'm saying i feel like there's some people that's separated over some bullshit and y'all could be out here trying to date and find um, compatibility with other people you know but again take this how it resonates y'all know what resonates with you but if you are in separation there is true love coming to you it's worth waiting for Whoever it is that you were dealing with, 
I feel like they're not putting the effort in. Continue to date. You'll find someone that you're more compatible with. Learn from what happened here. Do you understand? Do not build petty resentments for no reason. It kills the magic of the relationship. If you see that the person is all talk and not no walk, release yourself from the situation. There's other things. Don't, don't waste a lot of time. And don't, again, do not carry no baggage. Release them. Forgive them. Let them go on. And be great in their lavender. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Let them go and be great in their fucking lavender. Okay. So let's get into the singles. It says reevaluate and change your perspective or fucking quit. It says they are and ask a fucking expert. Alright. This one says you need a big fucking hug and you look like a shit show. Jesus Christ. So, there's something here for my singles where it's like, you look like a shit show and you need a big fucking hug. There's something that is bothering you. There's something that's value. And what is this they are? It says, you think someone is lying. They are. There's something that's bothering you. And I feel like it's been really eating at your ass. And it's saying to reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. If you really think that it's someone that will lie to you that bad, and is, 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 do you, it, you know, if it's, do not let nobody wreck your fucking mind. You know in your intuition and your soul what you think is going on. If you think a person is lying. If you think a person is playing games. And one thing I can tell you. Dating is not for the weak hearted. Okay. It's definitely not. You got to have tough skin. And you definitely have to trust your motherfucking intuition. Ever. You think someone is lying. They are. Okay. Ever trust your gut on this shit? Listen. Or reevaluate yourself. Listen, it says, oh, this says shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. This talking about your work. But I'm doing this for a relationship, so well, I'm doing this for singles and trying to be in relationships. But this is talking about something going on at, the, at your job. You think someone is lying. And they are. But I, I'm not reading this for no damn job right now. I feel like this is someone that you're dating. You feel like it's. You could be trying to work with this person. And hear them out. And really take what they're saying at face value. But something in your fucking gut is telling you something ain't right. So the only thing that you can do is, like it says, reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking leave. You understand? It's some shit going down. It's some shit going down. And you think a motherfucker lying. And they are. It's some shit going down. Having you going to put your blindness on and completely ignore your intuition and keep moving forward with that. And you're going to see what it's going to be what it's going to be. You're going to find out, look, I'd rather go with my gut and find out that I'm wrong and have to apologize later than to stay in the situation and for me to figure out everything that I thought it was really was what it was. And it's even more difficult to leave because you put more time in when you know you should have listened to yourself. So... That's up to you. And if it's really still bothering you after this, ask a, it says ask a fucking ask, ask a fucking expert. 
Don't rely on your friends or listen to the internet. Listen to a damn professional. If you really feel like after this, especially if you don't know me, I don't know you, and you're single, and you feel like the person that you're dating, you feel like they're lying to you, you feel like there's some shit going down, and the cards literally say you think that they're lying to you, they fucking are, some shit is going down, if you still at this point, listen, it's saying you look like a shit show. Something has been driving you motherfucking crazy. It says you're a hot mess. Facts. Clean yourself up. Don't be letting motherfuckers drive you goddamn crazy when you know in your gut what the fuck is going on. It says you need a big hug. Squeeze. The car's just trying to give you a damn hug because whoever the fuck this is has been driving you goddamn crazy. Listen. So, I ain't no one for gossip. You ain't heard that from me. But uh, I'm telling you what the hell the, the car said. You're not stupid. Especially with dating people. Listen, trust your gut. I don't care because I, I, I just rather not get wrapped up in unnecessary bullshit. If you think someone is lying, I don't, give, don't let nobody gaslight you trying to make you feel like you're crazy. Listen, well, I'd rather just be crazy then because you ain't getting me wrapped up in no motherfucking bullshit. Let me talk about some shit going oh. Some shit going down. Shit. Won't be going down around me. I promise you that. Won't nobody be saying the motherfucking thing about me, bitch. You hear me? Okay. Oh, reload it, girl. Look. Y'all better go on the fuck on the rap. <laughs> shit. Alright, give me guys. It says serendipity. I really do feel like right now. For my singles. I want to say like you guys are just. At peace kind of being single right now. Um, I don't really feel like that. Let me let me see what else is going on. I feel like whatever it is that you're trying to deal with right now. It's been throwing you off. Or maybe it literally is something that is going on at your job. That. Uh. You're not even focused on love right now. It's, you know what I'm saying? What's this? Life purpose. Serendipity and life purpose. So, this is basically telling me you guys find more pleasure and joy on and, 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 uh, adventuring, enjoying life, focusing on your life purpose and, and what God wants you to do with your soul with your soul's purpose for being in this in this time and in, in this space right now like that brings you more pleasure than a relationship it seems like whoever you've been dating you feel like something isn't necessarily right i feel like you can't put your finger on it it's been kind of driving you crazy you guys might be just focusing back onto your passions and your work and i don't know i, I want to say like you guys are traveling here because I feel like the summer isn't over. I feel like you guys want to put in one more vacation. You just want to be around some nature. You guys just want to be outside. Be more outdoors. Um, I want to say before the fall. Before the summer ends. Like honestly. And I'm, and I'm, I feel true love is going to come to Scorpio in fall. When the seasons change. I want to say that the summer. I want to say that the summer has been some shit for love. I want to. I don't really think that you guys have even been tripping on it for real, for real. What is this? Children. It says children has been affecting your love life and in chemistry as well. So you guys may be having to make arrangements for your kids. Like you may not be able to move around as much as you want to because of your children and then as well like you finding someone that you have the good proper chemistry with is very important you know so it's like i'm not going to be making a whole bunch of arrangements doing stuff trying to find people to watch my kids talk go out and date with people i don't even really got no chemistry with that's stupid it's like you guys could be just enjoying your life right now Staying in your life purpose. There's someone that I want to say you recently dated. That you feel like was a fucking liar. And maybe you ended up talking about this person a lot or whatever. Because it's just like it, it. 
it just didn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Or the person itself um, was a hot ass mess. And they needed to clean themselves up. You know? Like they could have been a hot ass goddamn mess. And you just like, uh uh. Girl, you're doing too much. Clarify this for my singles, please. What's going on in love for my singles, Scorpios, please? What is this? This is the Three of Cups in the reverse. So I want to say, like, someone may have an attitude with you because you don't go out with them anymore. You may not be talking to them anymore. It's like you are mainly focused on business and not really hanging out and chilling with your friends like that. Like, this could be, like, your friends and family as well. You could be more focused on your kids. I want to say you may be focused on your kids and slightly dating. So there may be some family members that are upset with you because you are more focused on your life purpose, your kids, and trying to find people that you have chemistry with. You don't really have time for them. And like they're like really focused on you for some reason in your personal life. It's like you just seem really happy. It's like the four of pentacles. Yeah, it's like you. It's like you being real secretive. You're not open with your time and your energy or something it's like you're not hanging with people anymore or this could be someone that you used to go out with a lot um and it's like they might want to spend some time with you for old time sakes and you're like no um, i don't go out like that or something it's just you i want to say like you rather stay out with your kids it's like you don't kind of fit in with this group or something like that it's like you rather work on your skills or go out and sit by a lake by yourself then go out with these people um this could have something to do with a group of friends colleagues co-workers or something like that it's like you don't want to chill with them after hours you don't um mm -hmm. what is this the hermit in the reverse so the hermit in the reverse is like I want to say you spend a lot of time alone and you don't, uh, I just feel like you don't want to go out with these people. It's like, I know enough about myself to know I don't really fit in with this group of people or I don't want to, it's like, I don't want to be with someone that's always out all the time or you party too much you know what i'm saying or i don't like your group of friends so it's like i'm keeping yeah it's like i feel like it's somebody that you're dating and you don't you feel like they're hot but you feel like this people you feel like they look like a fuck this person's friends look like a fucking shit show or something like they look like a fucking shit show you feel like these people are fucking hot mess and you may be looking at them like, um, I'm not hanging out with you. Like, these are people you hang out with? You gotta be kidding me. Nah, you're lying. You're like, oh, no, I don't hang out with these people all the time. You're a fucking lying. Because you're never in the house. It's like, you know, like, whoever this person is, is like, never in the fucking house. It's like, they're always, you know, and whoever this is, it's like, they may not have a soul's purpose like they just hang out with unsavory individuals or something like that like people that you would never hang out with like do you see how this person is like oh hell no do you understand what i'm saying oh hell no with the hermit and reverse it's like i have already gone through a phase in my life where it's like i value myself more i know what i want i know i've seen the light do you understand what i'm saying so these can be people that um don't necessarily see the way that the people that they hang around affects the way that you view them. Do you see what I'm saying? This light is in the reverse. Like, this person has no self-awareness. Like, whoever this is needs to spend more time with their self. But they don't want to spend... They're not going to be indoors to think about what they want and where they want to go in their life. This is like someone that, don't, that doesn't... Mm -mm. No, 
And I, I feel like you've been trying to figure out what to do about this person in this situation. I mean, I definitely feel like you're resisting and you've been holding yourself back from this person. Um, period. Like, you may not be giving this person none of your energy, none of your time. You may be, like, hiding or something. Like, you may be in hiding. <laughs> I don't know. Because it's just like, you, you, like, all you do is... You drink too much, you party too much. I don't like these people. It's like your life is more peaceful if you just focus on your life purpose and try to find someone that has more chemistry with you. You know, um, really, it's it's like you really felt like it was something going on here. Whatever that this person said that they were doing or not doing with these people, they're fucking lying about it. It's like, you know, it is like ever accept this person who they are and give in and let this person and, and give and give 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 some of what you have and what this person wants. They want you to come and they want you to come and bring all of that over here and come chill. And you just like, no, it's like ever you going to change your perspective and lower yourself. To fit in with these people or you need to just move the fuck on. And I don't think that you're going to do that. Do you look like you are? I don't think that you're going to do that. So, again, like I said, it's have a change of perspective or quit. And you just like, I know better. I'm just, there's somebody out there that I can find chemistry with. That and... You know, it's like I focused on my kids. I don't really got time to be partying with y'all and be doing that shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you may have to use your kids as an excuse for why you can't do something. And it's like, okay, I mean, I'm cool with that. Like, shit, I couldn't do the shit anyway. I just feel like it wouldn't have been a good look. I really do. Anyway, I'm going to keep it moving. Y'all let me know how this resonates. Y'all let me know. How, let me know what the fuck this was. And let me know what this was too. I love you guys. Peace.